So for my ingredients today, I will be using um, large shrimp that have the shell on and the tail on them. Um, I'm gonna quarter an onion and a lemon. And then the only one that I could really find was this McCormick shrimp and crab boil. Um, so it comes with two of them, but I believe that I'm only gonna need to use one. And I do not have sea salt, so I'm just using regular Morton table salt today. All right, so I have six cups of water um, that I'm gonna bring to a boil. Um, I've added my onions and my lemons, and then I'm going to add my boil back. All right, so I'm gonna add one tablespoon of salt. Stir this all up, and then let it boil for about four minutes. I have my shrimp and the shells are still on them so um, I'm going to remove the shells and the tails. So I realized after peeling my entire shrimp that cooking it with their shells on actually produces better flavor and also elongates the final product of the meat. Um, when you add it to water the proteins will actually shrink so um, since I removed my shells I did get a smaller shrimp. I do want to quickly note the color of the shrimp at the moment. Um, it's very clear, so you can actually see right through it. And when I expose it to heat, it should become open. All right, so I let this simmer um, on medium to low heat for about four minutes. And it smells delicious, but we all know what that means, that the aromas are actually escaping from the water. So what I'm going to do is take two cups from here and then cool it down. So the reason why we're making a cool bath of our broth is because we want to cool our hot shrimp so that moisture can actually reabsorb after it's finished cooking. All right, so once I removed the two cups and added it to ice, I am added six more cups to this and then I'm going to bring it back to a full boil. So I'm taking the temperature of my ice cold water bath. Um, the reason why they want it to be ice cold is because it will cool down the shrimp without draining the seasoning from it. All right, so I've got my boiling water. It's at about 200 degrees. And I'm going to add my shrimp very carefully. And as you can see, the water comes back very quickly. And my shrimp. I've already started turning pink. So I'm going to cook this for about four minutes. I'm gonna take some shrimp out and then leave the rest in for maybe a, another minute and then compare the difference between cooking techniques. All right, so it came back to a simmer, so I'm going to turn it down to medium heat and let it cook for four and a half minutes. All right, so I'm going to take out half of my shrimp and put them directly into the cold water. So when I expose my shrimp, um, the proteins, specifically myoglobin and myosin, were exposed to acid and heat. Um, the bonds actually denatured or they were starting to break and it unwound some of the proteins that were in there. And as I mentioned earlier, because I removed the shells from everything, um, it ended up with smaller shrimp. This is because um, the proteins were actually pulled tightly together. So having that shell around it would have kept a little bit longer, elongated the shrimp, and it also would have trapped some more moisture into it. So I was curious to see if my shrimp would be incredibly dry um, and, you know, tough and really difficult to chew. All right, so my shrimp are going to sit in this ice, ice bath for about five minutes. Um, and then once they're ready, I'm going to tell the difference between texture of cooking for one minute. So I actually split them up. Um, I can see which ones I cooked for only four and a half minutes and then ones that I cooked for five and a half minutes. So I'm going to compare those two once these are fully soaked in this water. Okay, so here are my two final products. The one on the left is going to be only cooked for four and a half minutes. And the one on the right is cooked for five and a half minutes. As you can see, even just by the size, um, they are pretty different. So this one's a little bit bigger than this one. And um, when I peeled them, they were actually relatively the same size. So 
beginning with that, the size is definitely different. All right, so when I did a taste test, um, they both were pretty similar in flavor, but the texture was a little bit different. Um, the one that I cooked for five and a half minutes was more difficult to chew. Um, it was a little bit um, rubberier and a little bit chewier. So I think that that extra cooking minute definitely changed the texture. And like I said, the flavor was still pretty delicious. Um, I can really taste the spices and then along with the lemon finish. So they're really fresh and um, I know I peeled them after cooking or I peeled them before cooking. So it might have changed the texture just a little bit, but I think overall this was a definitely good dish. All right, so here's my final product of my shrimp. And I am actually going to add it into some stir fry for dinner.